Hello. <coughs> I brought a wheel. <laughs> Matches your grapes, so that's great. So one of the uh, topics for today has to do with was it teams not realizing that the gear on the field is not just half the gear. It's two pieces screwed together. Was that, I think, is that an outlier? I heard a story about one team thought that, or two teams thought that. But I don't know if we need to make it a big deal. I, I would sure hope it's just one or two teams. For those teams not to realize that it was two gear halves put together, I think it was in the rules. Again, one of those read the rule things. I would hope it's just one or two teams that missed that. I feel for those teams, obviously, your intake or your hopper or whatever, Holding your gear is only is only going to hold half of a gear, so that that's kind of a big deal. But it is only still January. We've still got three weeks to go. I mean, obviously that's that's something that was might have been missed, but in that sense, they kind of broke they broke their gear intake by not reading the rules right, and so they have time now to fix it. So that's great that they caught it at this time, and they can fix it with plenty of time before bag day. Well, he didn't react the way we thought he would. <laughs> so today is Monday, the uh, 30th of January. One more day in January, and then it's February. Or about three and a half, four weeks into FRC build season. And I've, I've seen, seen a couple of robots driving around. Today I had jambalaya. I believe Mary made jambalaya Friday night, so um, leftovers today. And jambalaya, I think it's one of those leftovers where it gets better every day. Like it's in incrementally better every day that it's a leftover, and then suddenly, suddenly it drops off and it goes bad. I don't know how that all works. We need to see your videos. We need to see what you come up with with regard to your robots driving around, your prototypes working, or things breaking. Check out our contests for the communication of outside of the volume A or volume B contest is due on Wednesday around midnight of this week. Get your entry in. We haven't had many entries. So you might you might put something in that's okay. You might win 250 bucks of credit from Andy Mark. So that's like, um, you know, that's like uh, a bunch of robot parts. It's a, it's a bunch of robot parts. 250 bucks, you can probably buy almost five tough boxes or. You get to buy compliant wheels and then enter the compliant wheel. Yes. yes. She's pretty smart. You can you can buy compliant wheels. We have a new 45 durometer compliant wheel. We debated heavily on what to name this thing. Is it is it current color? Is it burgundy? Is it kind of like a plum color? No, it's maroon. So maroon is the color of this 45 durometer compliant wheel. So check it out. It's got its own part number. We're, we're still going to have these these blue ones come back in stock once we get the material in, but this is a slightly different material, slightly softer. We're rating it for a, a lower RPM, lower maximum RPMs. Check out the website. We got some wonderful feedback from my, my claim during lunch at Oscars on Friday that LabVIEW was the software that you could, you could get the most help with. Maybe I was wrong because uh, Kevin O'Connor at first did a study last year showing that Java was the most prevalent software used on FRC robots and second I believe was LabVIEW. So there's a link somewhere down here that can show which of the favorite software programs for FRC robots, that would help you guys out. And you can fact check me because if I'm creating alternative facts, then I will man up and say that I'm wrong at those times. <laughs> we're still out of stock of a few gears for the Evo shifter. We got gear stock in last week and we're altering the gear stock to make them look like workable gears. Now they're being plated. So those are taking a little bit of time to get through. So we have some new ratios for the Evo shifter becoming available this week. So stay tuned for that. AndyMart.com, the new tab. You can see some of the new stuff that's coming out. We have this old spool. I call it old because it's about a year and a half old. It was with the uh, the rocket box system. You can just buy the spool by itself to maybe help you winch yourself or climb up the rope. There's that compliant wheel, this this uh, maroon colored compliant wheel. Then we have the PG hex coupling for um, coupling a 3 8 hex shaft to a PG output shaft. And then there's a, um, a the Pigeon IMU from Cross the Road Electronics is available. If you're on the Andy Mark page, check out our new 
part listing and you'll see what's the latest and greatest that what we have. For my team this week on 3940 what we worked on was we cut our drivetrain plates this weekend and we are finalizing some of the details in our climber. We finally worked out the the agitator motion at the bottom of our hopper for our fuel systems. I think for many teams collecting balls is easy. For many teams shooting a ball is easy. The hard thing you're going to have to worry about is getting the ball from the collection hopper up to your shooter. So don't take that for granted. Make sure the ball can get into your shooter track and out to the shooter wheel. That transition between intake and shooter is not easy. Don't take it for granted. I think almost worse than last year because of the sheer volume of fuel needed on a robot. That your biggest issue with a control system is where to put the darn stuff, where to put your battery, where to put all your speed controllers, your talons, your victors, your PDP board, all that stuff. You gotta figure out where to put it. Don't bury it down underneath everything and then have all the chips and parts fall down onto it. Make it easy for your, your pit crew, make it easy for your inspectors to get inspected, make it easy for the field personnel to be able to debug your robot if you're having trouble. Show focus on where your controls and electronics are being mounted. That's all I've got for today. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good week. All the statements today are gonna to be like, it's still January, you have plenty of time. And then tomorrow or whatever. It's, it's February. February. It's February. Oh my god, we're, we're so yeah. behind.